All right, we here with Kurt Anderson. What class? What class? 95. Not class of 95. You never got a chance to play in this building. You played in the more, the smaller gym, the, which is the library now. For those of you that don't know, but, um, how's it feel to be back here? Are you part of this alumni game? It feels good. It feels good, man. Um, a lot of people coming out. Hopefully, more people come in to you know support what's going on. Yeah. This is the first time. This is being done? Yeah, it's the first time. Out of all in schools? No, nah, I think here is the first time. Oh, here's the first yeah, time. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So very interesting. But with especially with all the with all the players that came through here, you would think they've they've done it before. And uh, what is kind of your your um what's your fondest memories when you when you played here? English. Playing against uh family members. So I played Lynn English obviously. You know, a couple of family members played for Lynn Clasco. Um it's always a uh, back and forth rivalry with that, you know what I mean? Family members. Yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely, definitely. And you, a lot of your family members came, have came through this building yes. and have made themselves for this, in this building. I mean, for you, just how's it, how does it feel when you see, like, you came here, you got cousins that went here, nephews that went here, and, and the ones that played here, they all left the mark on the, pro, on the program. Yes, so uh, Anthony, Jeanette, my nephew, he's playing here now. Um, a lot of, lot of, lot of family that came through. Even my aunt Betty, she played here. Mm -hmm. She played here. Leroy, yeah. uh, Larry, a lot of, a lot of family members. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Mike Hope, a lot, yeah. a lot. Yeah, definitely. Um, the, we got the younger guys here that's kind of got the new wave of hoop, of uh, basketball players coming to building. So much success the last couple years. When you, when you see it. And you see how well they did, and some of them even went on to play. Are playing, are currently playing in college, or play, have played in college. I guess doesn't make you feel that the city is putting out those, is putting out productive players like that that go on to the next level and, and are able to play college basketball rather than be Division One, Two, Three, or Four. I um, I come to most of the games. A lot of these kids that I see growing up now, just amazed of like the talent Lynn has. Yeah. So much, so much talent. I was always, we always talk about what if Lynn had one school? Yeah. Our freshman team, from the freshman to the JV would be undefeated, I think. So, cause we got so much talent just yeah. spread out through one, you know, in our, in our, in our city and yeah. four high schools. Yeah. Think about that, right, that's, right. that's, that would be insane. You wouldn't see a lot of more people probably leaving straight to the NBA, just, just because of the talent level that, yeah. We have. Well, yeah, definitely, definitely. What, what can he, what can we expect from you tonight? You no, know, see you. We was out there on Sunday. We was out there Sunday getting warm, playing some pickups. So, I will keep expecting from you tonight. Um, I told Chris if I if I get six points by halftime, I'm out. <laughs> six points is good for me. That's the mark. We're if, gonna keep. If I get nine, I'm gonna get a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure, Kurt. Yes, love. Hope to yeah. see you on Sunday, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. We play pickup Sunday, so I, I'm going to be there. I got the message. I'll, I'll be there. A lot of here.